Hello everyone, well, welcome to the new Andy VTW video. I said it was going to come all week on the stream. I was waiting and waiting and waiting to do this. It's the predictions for the Euros. My favourite video to do every two years is this. Because Premier League predictions, I'm rubbish at. I hold my hands up. Club football in total, just not great at. International stuff, I'm usually quite good at. It's weird. The only hell I ever really had was saying Brazil would win the last World Cup. That was wrong. But I did say Italy would win the last Euros, and they did. So Euros I have a good track record with, so probably gonna end this tournament, though, let's be realistic. Um I I'm not good with surprise teams, but yep. Yeah, I'm in the Sweden kit. I'm pretty sure I wore this for the World Cup one as well, actually. Uh it's just neutral kit, really, isn't it? Uh, I don't really... I could wear an Ireland kit, but after last night against Portugal, I don't feel like wearing anything to do with Ireland, to be fair. Uh, oh, yeah. Anyway, here are the predictions, and enjoy, I say. So, Group A, Germany, Scotland, Hungary, and Switzerland. Now, a lot of you will know I've done predictions already on stream for the groups. Maybe a few things have changed, I don't know, we'll, we'll judge it. But for me, quite comfortably, Germany win this group. I feel they get seven points out of it and it's just going to be very easy, to be honest. I think they're a good bit ahead of everyone. I think it's a good group, though. I think anybody could get out of this group, but second... I'm thinking a little Switzerland for a second, to be honest. Uh, because Switzerland are that team every sort of tournament who you kind of know they'll get to the knockouts and won't do much. I said they'd reached the World Cup semi final last time out. That was completely and utterly wrong. So, yeah, I'm not going to go with that this time. And I actually think Scotland will get third over Hungary. And a lot of people will be like, why am I saying Hungary last? I think Hungary are overrated. I just think that everybody has them as the dark horse. The way Turkey were last year. Last Euros. And I'm just thinking... They're just going to have the same effect. It's going to be a lot of pressure on them. And I know that it's a lot easier group to the groups Hungary usually get. And... That people are expecting them. Because they usually do well in those groups. That they usually shock people. I just think this time round. There's a lot more pressure on Hungary. And I just don't think they'll deal with it well. And as for Scotland. I think Scotland will come third. I think they could come even second. But I'll just put them third. I will. Group B. The group of death. And. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. Uh, all right, automatically, I think Croatia are going to come second in that group. I think they'll beat one of Spain or Italy. I don't know which one, but they'll win one of those two matches. They will. And I think they'll draw to Albania. I just think Albania will do something. I think they'll get a draw or something in this group. I don't know why. But between Spain and Italy, who's winning it? Italy. Alright, here we go, here we go. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. Italy to win the group. I'm going to put Croatia second, Spain third, Albania bottom. But I'm saying Italy will win the group because of the way the match schedule's done up. Because I think Croatia will win the first game and they play Spain in the first match. And I think they'll lose the last match, which is against Italy. And I just think Italy have... Got that thing about them. But they're underrated again this tournament. And they'll do it. And Spain. A lot of people think Spain are going to do well. I think it's a very young Spanish team. And it could do well. It's just. I think Spain and Italy will be a draw. But I'm going to just say Spain third. Because I just think. That's how it will plan out. Right. Group C. Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia, England. Uh, okay, now this, you look at this and think England are going to walk it. I don't think they'll walk this. I think they'll struggle here. I think 
They might even draw two matches in this group. But they will still win it, I'd say, because um, they, they should be winning this group. They might not win it, but I think they will win it. Well, you never know. I just don't think... Because I know whoever comes second in this group plays top of that group. And I cannot see an England-Germany last 16 matchup again. It would be too weird. So I'm saying England win the group. Second place is my surprise team of the whole tournament. I'm going with Slovenia. I think Slovenia, very underrated. I think Sesko is going to have a banger for Leipzig. And it's going to be incredible for Slovenia this tournament. I think they come second. Between Denmark and Serbia now. Denmark because Serbia will never do anything in tournaments. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, when have Serbia ever gotten out of a group in a tournament? I know they have some great players. But a lot of those players are in Saudi Arabia now. And they've never gelled as a team. Ever Serbia. And I just think they'll come forth. And as for Denmark. We've got to be realistic guys. Scandinavian football at the minute is, is the worst it's probably ever been. And I just look at Denmark and say. You're not the team you were three, four years ago for that Euros in, um, around Europe. They're not the same team as they were. And I just think third is realistic. As for Group D, Holland, Austria, France, Poland. Um, this is very, very easy. It should be to predict. France are going to win this group. And Holland and Netherlands second place. Because... They are just so much better than the other teams in the group. And France are just so much better than the Netherlands. I'm going to call them the Netherlands because people will... can be a bit weird with that, so I'll just go with Netherlands. Why not? Even though I won the Euros with them yesterday in the stream. If you want to see that, go on to Andy BTW's last live stream and you will see me win the Euros with the Dutch. Bit of a spoiler, but why not? And as a third in this group... I think Austria over Poland. But I'm going to be very honest with you. I think that's going to be a draw. I think Austria are a bit overrated as well. Even though they did batter Turkey 6-1. Whenever they're in a major tournament Austria. They always seem to just collapse. And Poland are just... I'm disappointed Wales didn't win that shoe there against Poland. I think Wales would have done more. But I could be wrong as well. Wales would have... Bad World Cup. Poland is better in it, but I don't know. Just go with that. Group A. This is the worst group in the whole competition. There, there isn't a team here I look at and think you're, you're going to be anywhere near a semi final. You're not. And it's going to be split up between Belgium, Ukraine, Slovakia, Romania. I think that's fairly obvious. But who wins it? Who comes third or fourth? I think Belgium and Ukraine will be a draw. But I think Belgium have more goals in their locker. So I'm going to say Belgium win this group on goal difference. And I think Ukraine come second. I think Ukraine did well to get through the qualifying and to probably get out of the group. It'll be a decent tournament. As for Romania and Slovakia, I don't have much info on this, but... Uh, I just go with Romania because Romania impressed me a bit more in the qualifying thing. Slovakia just, they're always in the Euros. And I probably am underrating them because they usually come third in their group. But I'm going to back Romania to come third. And as for Group F, Turkey, Georgia, Portugal, Czech Republic. Very simple group for Portugal. You saw them last night against Ireland there. They're going to get loads of goals in that group. They're going to destroy it because the teams in that group just aren't up to the standards. So, yep. As for second, it's going to be tight. Because I don't think any of these are amazing. But they had a decent last Euro. So I've put Czech Republic in second. But that could be really wrong. Czech Republic could come even bottom of this group. They could realistically. But I'll put them in second. And as for third, 
I want to back Georgia. I want to back Georgia to do something in this tournament. Uh, and finish third. I think they'll get a result against Turkey. I do. I think they might get a draw there. And I, I just think they'll do something. So yes. As for your third place ranking. Now I've done this up. I added all. I was drinking in the pub last night. And I had a, I had a prediction book beside me. And I was doing my predictions. So I knew how to perfectly rank this. Call me a nerd, I don't care. I want it to be perfect. You know, I, I take pride in these predictions. And I'm not just saying it because they're the best team here. I just think Spain are going to get the most points and better goal difference and all that out of this. So I'm going to say Spain the best third place ranking team. Then, for the first time in their history, Scotland will get out. I think Scotland will come second in that. Third, say Denmark. And fourth, Romania. I think Georgia will just miss out. I think Georgia will get two points, and I think Romania will get three. So it's really tight, though. Georgia could come for. I, I wouldn't mind seeing Georgia doing something. They're a decent team, Georgia. But I'm just going to back Romania to do it because I think it's going to be like Finland in the last year, where they're just going to fall short in the third place. Rackets, they are Georgia. Well, here we go, some interesting matchups, uh, to say the least. The first one of the last 16, Germany, Slovenia. And I rate Slovenia, this is where the tournament ends, so I've got to be honest, Germany will just have too much on it. It might be a bit of a difficult game, though. See, Slovenia might hold them out to like extra time and that, you never know. But I'll say Germany will just do it. Switzerland, Croatia. I think this will go the distance, to be honest with you. Either one of them can win on the penalties. Go Croatia. Though. Croatia are good at penalties. Um, Switzerland aren't bad at them, but I just think Croatia have got one more really good tournament in them. So we'll go with it. Italy, Scotland. I would love to see Scotland do this. It'd be incredible. But they just won't. If Scotland go out here, they'll take it though. They'll take last 16, beaten by the Italians. they take it. They might make it hard for them, but yes. England, Romania. Some older English fans, well not older English fans, um, to get flashbacks to 1998 World Cup here, they will with this. And... <sighs> They will. They will just beat Romania, though, England. Let's be realistic here. I'm not going to mess about. They will beat Romania. Uh, I think Romania will do well to get this far, even. But, yeah. Portugal, Denmark. That's a tough one. I'm not going to lie. If Denmark, I just, I just think, as I said earlier in the group, I think this Denmark team... About three years ago, they would have won this. I think I would have predicted Denmark to do this, but now I'm just saying Portugal. But Denmark could. They could win this, but I don't think they will. And same thing going for Ukraine and Holland. With De Jong, who's just been announced out of the whole tournament, huge loss with the Dutch in the midfield. Ukraine could do this. But I just look at the last World Cup and I hard to tell Holland were decent. Or Netherlands were decent, so yeah, they'll win that, I say. Uh, Belgium and Spain. Ugh, I did say Belgium's group was bad, and I don't think Belgium are amazing anymore. I think their defence is really poor. I think attackively they're really good still, but overall, in a basis for an actual match, Spain just have more than them. And I think Spain will beat Belgium there. And in France, Czech Republic. Could there be another mad penalty shootout here? No. No, let's be realistic. France will fairly easily win that. And I don't think it matters who comes second in um, that group of Portugal. France will easily beat them in the last 16, whoever it is. So a quarter final. Some decent matches here. No real shock shock, I would say. There probably would be, like a Denmark or Ukraine will probably be here. 
I want to say in the quarter final, but haven't done it. Germany and Italy. This is going to be some match. That is going to be some quarter final. I really hope that happens, just because I think it would be an amazing watch. That a real tactical battle, and I think it'll be huge. But I also think this game is going to be. It's going to tire one of these out for the later stages. I said Italy would win the last Euros. Am I going to do it again? No. I'm, I'm sorry, Italy. I know a lot of you probably loved me for predicting us to win the Euros last time out. I think this will go to penalties, baby. And I just think Germany... I think this is Germany's moment in this tournament. They've been waiting for so long for this to redeem themselves from horror shows in the last tournament. And they'll win this one. Now, Portugal, Netherlands. This is the hardest game to predict. It is. Because originally, last night, because when I was doing this out, I said Netherlands would win this. Because, and I just taught Portugal. They're amazing, Portugal. I just think the next World Cup is when this team really comes alive. But now there's a bit of me thinking. Can they reach the semi here and still do that in the next World Cup? They really could. I just don't think they will. Something about it, it just tells me Portugal are not going to be in the semi-final. I'm going to do it. You know what? I think I'll go, and again, another penalty. I'm back in Netherlands to win that. I'm the only person who's doing it. And my main reason for doing it is just because I think Portugal, the next World Cup, is, and it's about them, not this Euros. And that's why I'm going with that. Spain and France, what a match this is. I think Spain have a tougher last 16 match, but this will be really tight. But I think this is where the experience of France, they have a bit more experience. I think that's where it just comes into play and Spain will go home there. And now, match 48, England versus Croatia. Ugh. I'm really, really sorry to do this. I'm saying Croatia. And I'm not being biased. I just think England are going to flop in this tournament. It's just something about it. just doesn't seem right with England. I just feel like with Gareth Southgate, the run there, I think this will be his last tournament. And I just think it's going to end on a bit of a sour note. And I think they'll struggle to win the group. And I think that will be a warning sign for England. And this game, I think it has some scary moments in it against Romania, but they will just pull through. But this overall, with Croatia, I just think they will do it. But I said Croatia would beat England in the last year, and I was wrong. But I'm backing them here. And that's the semi-finals. Germany, Netherlands, France, Croatia. Now this is going to be interesting because... Germany and Netherlands was the semi-final in uh, 88 when Germany hosted the tournament. And it was a famous win for the Dutch. Will it happen this time round? No, I think Germany will go on and win there. I think this is where the tournament ends for Netherlands. I think Germany maybe a 2-1 win. I just think they will prove themselves in this tournament and will reach the final. France... Croatia, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, that's, Cro like, France have youth in their team more, Croatia's midfield by this time, those players will be wrecked by this last match against France, they will, and I just think France will have more, maybe subs to back them, to come on and do something, it won't be easy, but Croatia hate playing France, and I just think that will be the end of that Croatian team. And I think, I do think this is the last dance for this Croatia team. I cannot see them being there in two years' time at the World Cup. Definitely Modric. I think this will be his last ever tournament. 
I think he was going to retire at the end of the Nations League, but they convinced him to play on for the Euros. They did. You did. You know, you don't want to end on a defeat in a final. So, yeah, Germany and France as my final. Now, what am I going with? Here's the thing. Germany have hosted. This is their. What was it? I worked it out. Their. I want to say their fourth tournament they've ever held. The other three, they won it once. They did. In 74, at home, they won it. But in Euro 88 and World Cup 2006, they didn't. They got knocked out in the semi-final stage. And I just think they will... This would be a decent return for Germany. This France team is too good. It is. I'm sorry. It's too good. This French team. It's like they're due of Euros. They are. You, if you reach two World Cup finals in a row, you're amazing. And they just, they're due of Euros. They are. They're due one. And I have not predicted France. To win a tournament since that World Cup in 2018. I haven't. And I was right then. And I'm backing them here. Just because I think this is their time for the Euros. What have other people said? It talks to the top three there. France. 24% of people think France will win. 22% with England. 14% with Germany. Decent uh, prediction from everyone. So that's my winner. And that's my predictions. So yeah. It's been me, and I will see you in the next one. How long is this video for my editing? Oh, 22 minutes. I'm going to be editing all night. Woohoo.